Fix your dryer in seven minutes. Is your dryer not starting? We got this common household dilemma in our hand. My dryer won't start. Frustrating, right? Stick around for the next seven minutes and let's get your dryer back in action. First, let's remove the top. Most front load dryers have top cover just like this. First thing I notice, no belt. Remove the three top screws and pull back on the user interface and unplug it. Next, you want to unscrew the four top screws and don't forget about the two bottom screws like I did. Keep in mind there's a few things that you should check. For example, the door switch. Most of the time, that's the first thing I check because that's what breaks first. And there's a few more. But don't worry, I'll show you how to check them in this video. Once you release the front panel, unplug your door switch. Inspect the door switch visually and test that it clicks in and out. Ooh, a little surprise. Grab them spring. Once you unscrewed the top support panel, I think that's what it's called, untwist the wires and note the pattern because I always mess this up. Okay, so now, if you haven't noticed yet, this dryer, all it needs is a simple belt. And can you imagine someone threw it on the side of the road to the dump because of that? But we're going to save it. On this channel, Hustle with West, we're going to clean it, service, and flip it for 300 bucks. Once you unscrew whatever that thing is called, unplug the moisture sensor and then you want to remove it. This is a good time to check your lint filter compartment and clean it if need be. Next, we're going to remove the drum. This was easy because the belt wasn't there. Hee -hee. But, oh, you see that? The belt is there and it's intact. Something else must be the problem. The belt is actually good. <laughs> As I'm laughing here, I'm looking over to the side and I notice that something else is the problem. And it was a drum roller wheel. Uh-oh. But no problem. Easy fix. I got a bunch of those. There's a part number if you ever need to order one. This is what it looks like. These are actually upgraded and they come with a bearing. So They were most likely outlasted dryer. And they're way cheaper than the Samsung original part. This is what the old pulley looks like. It most likely got stuck and it jammed up. Eventually the belt slipped off. It's a miracle that it didn't break. You would be surprised how many times I've replaced these. Now I order them in bulk at least 20 at a time. Once we unpackaged it, we're going to grease it and install it. Check out the new bearings. It's been forever. Ow! We're missing something though. Oh yeah, we can't forget about that. We need that spring to keep that tension on, baby. Once we install out, we're going to give it a good cleaning. All right, and here comes the fun part. We're going to test for continuity for our door switch and thermal fuses. Also, we can't forget about the belt switch. So first things first, put it on the beeping thingy. And you want to hear this beep. So when the multimeter makes this beep, it means that it has continuity and you're in the clear. So that means the heating element and all our thermal fuses is good. You want to check for the main thermal fuse, which is this one I'm checking in here. That thermal fuse will give you the same problem this dryer is having. Next, you want to oil all your rollers. I like to use a zoom turbine grease. I notice lint doesn't get stuck to it as much. Now, you want to make sure you get it on all four wheels. But some dryers might have six rollers. Maybe. Now, we're pretty much ready to assemble it back together. I like to use this little trick here. I put the belt on first to drum so it can help me to carry it in. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Now, I'm running through the belt just to make sure it's all in the right direction and there's no twists in it. Next, you want to make sure you align the drum right in between the rollers and make sure it's sitting correctly and there's no space or gap between the back and the drum. So over here, I'm installing the belt on the motor and the tensioner blindly. And I noticed I forgot to take a little shot of how to do this. If you struggle with this, leave a comment and I'll make a detailed video on how to quickly do this. So now pretty much you want to reverse what you did. 
this is a good tip here i like to lift the drum from the bottom to kind of align everything in place you don't want to see a big space or a big gap in between there next you want to align all of the four tabs all around there it's a little frustrating at time but as you can see i do it by myself and i use my knee to help me <laughs> Once you install the screws for that panel, make sure you don't forget your moisture sensor. And remember what I told you to know about how to put the wires? Now it's a good time to have this. <laughs> so I'm just going to zoom through this video because you pretty much should have the hang of it by now. Ah, don't forget your door switch because I always forget and the dryer will never work without a door switch. Okay, so now we'll plug in the dryer and hope to god that it's gonna work. Man, this feeling never goes away, I swear to god. Feel intense for that second, okay? Here you go, plus start. Oh my god, woo, it finally started. Now part of it is over, now you wait for the second part. You gotta make sure it's heating. But we know the heating should be good because we tested everything with the multimeter. Now you put the top back on and you give it a little wipe down and you enjoy your quick 300 bucks. I actually sold this one before I even edited and finished this video. Dryers sell like hotcakes because most companies are charging arm and a leg just to come and take a look at your dryer. I'm actually a service technician that I do this for a living. And some of the stories that I hear makes me sick to my stomach. And I decided to dedicate my time to make videos and help you guys out. If you have any suggestions or you want me to make a video on a specific appliance, I'll be glad to do so. Please leave a comment with what you would like to see and i'll be sure to make a video about it i really hope this video helped you guys and if it did it would be nice if you can leave a like and a subscribe it would mean a lot